Some salespeople want the big score to make one big deal and get rich. Yeah, but Amy, one local salesperson will take any sale he can get, no matter how small. Problem solver Rob Olchek investigates a local Facebook seller who makes lots of small deals but doesn't seem to deliver the goods. Rob. That's right, Rube. This is a pretty safe little scheme. Some of his customers told me after they got burned, police took their reports, but since each lost less than 100 bucks, the cops said they wouldn't really even investigate. But I will. You can't go ripping off people on Facebook Marketplace. My intent is never to rip off anyone, Rob. Man, Jack Fernie sells a lot of great stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I well, just don't do it anymore. But you did do it. You just put ads out yesterday. Jack Fernie's prices are so good, he's got a lot of buyers. In fact, some of his customers say Jack Fernie has several buyers for the same item. The ad for the couch was reposted after I already paid for it. And even if it's already sold, they say Jack Fernie will sell it again. As long as the customer pays up front. Why are you stealing money from housewives? But Jack Fernie isn't too worried about getting caught. He blocks me. He's ghosted me. Because Jack Fernie isn't even real. Hey, Jack. You Jack Fernie? No. You're not Jack Fernie? But the guy behind the Jack Fernie Facebook page is. You need to get your together, dude. I understand, Rob. This is Sherry. The price was so low on this couch on Facebook Marketplace, Sherry knew she had to act fast. In fact, the seller said there were so many people interested, he would just sell it to the first person who paid him. So Sherry used a cash app to secure the sofa. This Jack Fernie guy she supposedly bought it from was even going to deliver it. Supposedly, he lived in Plymouth near Sherry's home. But neither the sofa nor Jack Fernie ever came. He made an excuse saying that he was at a daughter's um uh, dance competition. The same thing happened to Rachel. In fact, Rachel bought and paid for the same sofa from the same guy. Then, after Jack missed his delivery date due to the dance recital, the ad was reposted, so Sherry commented under the ad, Hey, I already paid you for this. I bought this already. Another lady commented. And then Rachel saw it and commented, Yeah, me too. Looks like we all got scammed. Rachel and Sherry DM'd each other to compare notes. What he messaged me was almost the exact screenshot of what he had me mes messaged her that day. About the dance recital? About a dance recital. You both paid for this couch yes. that apparently nobody got delivered. Right. So each of them lost less than 100 bucks, no biggie, but when they talked, they realized they weren't the only ones. Who knows how many people this Jack Fernie guy did this to? These are, you know, big CEO tycoons he's screwing over. These are like people really trying to just get a, get something for their house, get some furniture for their house. So they called the Hall of Shame. I had my producer respond to Jack Fernie's ad about another sofa he had listed. Same price, 89 bucks. And what do you know? Jack messaged him to cash up the money up front. But not in the name of Jack Fernie. He says... My cash app is Toy Time. It's under Mr. Real Estate. And when you search for Toy Time in Mr. Real Estate Plymouth, it leads you straight to a guy named John Toy. And once I looked up John Toy, I found this warrant out of Canton. The report says complainant Allison claims John Toy, a real estate agent, defrauded her out of $89. Hmm, that's a familiar figure. In regards to a piece of furniture she purchased from him via Facebook Marketplace. Through reading stories from others about Toy on Google, Allison discovered he has done this to several other people where he takes payment and never delivers the item. Toy was charged in March with running a fraudulent scheme but never showed up for court. And no one seems to be able to find the guy. Mr. Real Estate, the number one and only, doesn't even own a home. He rented this house in Plymouth, but was evicted owing 12 grand to the landlord. The place where he used to have his Mr. Real Estate office is vacant, and his landlord told me he didn't pay the rent. And while Jack Fernie promised to deliver his furniture, John Toy's only vehicle, this van, is in the Westland Police impound lot. So where else would I find him? At his mom's house, where he gets around on a bicycle. Hey, Jack. You Jack Fernie? No. You're not Jack Fernie? No. I'm Rob Walter from Fox 2. You mind if I sit here and talk to you for a little bit? Sure. So, uh, you don't put up a bunch of ads saying you're Jack Fernie? No. On Facebook Marketplace? No, what are, you, what are you referring to? A bunch of ads that say Jack Fernie and you advertise stuff on Marketplace 
and then people bid on the stuff and you take money and then you keep the money no i had some personal issues and some delivery issues delivery issues oops i think john slipped your real name's john toy right and i paid everybody no you haven't paid, paid everybody i paid people and then there was people that i didn't get a response to oh so, you're lying to me no i'm not lying to you yeah john you are yeah. you're lying i wouldn't lie to you what okay. happened with you, man? I mean, you were Mr. Real yeah. Estate and all this kind of stuff, and I now still, you're I off ripping off people on, on I Facebook. I still am having some personal issues, and I know you're bringing light to that, but I'm not hiding behind anything. Obviously, you come up on Well, you are I'm hiding on, on, on hiding something on because anything. you're using a fake name. John says he uses a Jack Fernie name because he wants to separate it from his real estate business. Okay, he is doing some rotten stuff as Jack Fernie. So yeah, there's man. this lady I named apologize. Sherry. She bought a sectional couch. No, I have no idea. And then later that. in the day somebody she posted why is the ad still up Jack Fernie if you if I gave you $89 for this couch and then this Rachel contacted her and said I gave him $50 for the couch and you continued to keep the ad up for the couch I mean sometimes, I think sometimes Facebook does that they put it back up they put it back active ah Facebook's fault doesn't really explain how he got paid for one couch from at least two people, neither of whom got the couch. Now I bring up another lady he apparently did the same thing to. You've been charged yeah. with running a fraudulent scheme but for your Facebook Marketplace but I didn't receive any documentation, so I have to review it. Here's the documentation right here. I'll Can let I you keep it. John claims his days of selling on Facebook are over, even though, as we said, he has ads up under the Jack Fernie name. I think you're just... Oh. A dude desperate for money, and I don't well, think you got the, your head together no, very well. Well, usually the people that are that you're chasing around are, are ghosting everybody. You are ghosting everybody. You're not even using They're your real responding. name. Hey, John, a.k.a. Jack Ferdy, I got a special deal for you, and it won't even cost you $89. You're in the Hall of Shame. If you use Facebook's on-site checkout, Facebook says you may be able to get a refund. Just make sure your purchase qualifies under the Facebook Purchase Protection Plan. So if you've been scammed, contact Facebook right away.